mathematicians, let's do our homework so we can enjoy a four-day weekend. All right, today we multiplied fractions. When you have two fractions, you can just multiply them, numerator times numerator, like here we have one times one, which is one, and denominator times denominator. Four times three is 12. Ta-da! Oops, maybe I should have written it and circled it a little bit better. One twelfth. Not so bad. When there are word problems, you have to figure out exactly what you're multiplying before you can start. Rodrigo bought a dozen roses. Remember that a dozen is 12. He gave three-fourths of the roses to his girlfriend and the rest to his grandmother. All right, I'm going to model that. If he gave three-fourths to his girlfriend and the total is a dozen, the total is 12, then that means, well, let's see, three, six, nine, twelve. Yep, each of these is three. He gave three, 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 three. Don't tell me the answer is nine. That's how many roses he gave to his girlfriend. That is not what the question is asking. How many flowers did he give to his grandmother? He gave one-fourth of the flowers. One-fourth of twelve is this bit. He gave three flowers to grandma. Three flowers, or you can say three roses. Ta-da! Selena's aunt told her she'd buy her a new cell phone Ooh. if she read 50 chapter books. Not 50 chapters, 50 books this school year. So far, Selena has read three-fifths of the books she needs to. Again, not necessary, but we did practice this a lot today, so we can model it. There's fifths. There's one, two, three of them. If the total is 50, how much is each box? Well, let's see. There are five boxes and it equals 50. That means each box has to be 10. So this together is 10, 10, 10. She has read 30 books. Ta-da! All right, Stan has listened to one third of his favorite CD. There's a third. If it has 12 songs in total, that means 12 divided by 3. Each third is 4, 4, 8, oops, not 4, 4, 8, 12. He's listened to four songs. All right, the next ones I'm going to set up but not answer for you. Daniel found five-eighths of a pie left in the refrigerator. He ate one-fourth of those leftovers. This one we could draw. It's not a... Uh, the same style since these are both fractions. You could draw, let's see, those are fourths, cut them in half again. That's eighths, five eighths, it's looking like that. And then you could cut it into fourths again. Let's see if I can change my color. Um, here we go, purple, the best color. That's cutting it in half. That's cutting each of those in fourths. He only ate one fourth of his leftovers, so that's this bit, this bit, this bit, this bit, this bit. Officially, you could shave it, shade in these bits too, but these are the only pieces that are double shaded. So you'd count those up and say five out of how many total pieces, or you could multiply five eighths times one fourth and get your answer that way. Last but not least, Six glasses of juice, we know that if it's a whole number, we can make it a fraction out of one. Each glass was three-tenths of a liter. That's supposed to be a zero. And you multiply. And then you divide. Do not pick A. It is not 18 divided by one, it's 18 divided by 10. Hint, you also might have to simplify any fractional remainder. And now we're done with our homework and we can enjoy a four-day weekend. See you on Tuesday.